What's up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. I have a gigantic unbagging of goods for you. All of these items are from the Sailor Moon store and this is my most recent haul from my proxy in Tokyo, Japan named No Country for Tall Men. I will put his link down below in the description if you're interested in using his proxy services. I use a slew of different proxies for different items and usually when it comes to items in Tokyo, my bag just fell, I always ask No Country for Tall Men to pick up those items if they're exclusive to the stores. This bag features some really cool items from the Sailor Moon store that includes some fancy collaborations as well as some exclusive items for the second anniversary of the Sailor Moon store. So I'm very excited to unbox these for you or unbag these for you. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content and comment below if you have any questions about the items that I'm about to show you. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. How should I do this unboxing? Should I just like reach in and find a thing? I think I'm just gonna like reach in the bag and find a thing and then I'll tell you about it. Things are falling at me. Okay, so first I have some Cupies. These are Sailor Moon Cupies straight from the Sailor Moon store. That is the only place that you can find these. They are exclusives for the Sailor Moon store. The first one I have is Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion. And the second one I have is Super Sailor Moon. Now they do have the entire line of cute little Sailor Moon Cupies. So if there's a specific character that you love, they most likely have it in stock. I think this one was a limited edition or at least it's pretty hard to find, but I was really excited about it. I thought it, they were super, super cute and they definitely look cute in person. Much cuter than the pictures online, I will say. The Sailor Moon one specifically has a really cute little crystal heart in the center of her fuku, and I thought that was really nice. And it does look quite detailed as far as her costume goes. Like they use some cute little fabric for her shoulder pads, and she even has gloves on. She has the little pieces in her hair, and her, she has a bow on her back, so they do include quite a few of the details from the outfits, even though these things Things are so tiny. I likely won't unbox these because they do have that nice window packaging so I'll probably just keep them in the box and put them up on my collection display. This little guy came back in stock which I was very excited to see. I follow Sailor Moon Store on Twitter and they always tweet about which things come back in stock. So this I had missed out on the first time that he came out. This is the uh, Tuxedo Mask Otedama or Sum Sum uh, and he looks very very cute. He's just a little plump ball, kind of reminds me of my cat Starbuck who is slightly overweight but adorable. Uh, he does have his mask on which is cute. He has no eyeballs underneath. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh, but he doesn't he doesn't have eyes, he just has a mask. So they, they didn't embroider the eyes. I guess they save like a quarter of a penny when they do that. <laughs> he does have a little rose, which is very cute. No cane, but he also has the black cape with the red underlining on his back and the cute little top hat, which is very, very cute. These that you see here are a limited edition Sailor Moon store exclusive second anniversary can badge sets. So these are pins, there's two of them. They are embroidered, which is very pretty, and they are exclusive for the second anniversary of the Sailor Moon store, which happened uh, several weeks ago at this point. Uh, both of these are very, very pretty. They're really nice, bright colors. First you have the Sailor Moon one, which features a silhouette of Sailor Moon. And then you have the second one, which is Luna, as the Sailor Moon store Luna, and it says second anniversary. Really cute detailing on these pins. I will definitely be taking these ones out of the packaging and putting them with the rest of my pin collection. So this doesn't look like much, but it's actually something that I really wanted to buy anyway. Uh, this is a silicon cover. It has a little crescent moon at the top, and then the actual cover itself features art of Artemis and Luna. Just their heads. Just their silhouette of their heads. That's it. So you can use a silicon cover on top of like your tea glass or your mug and it can hold in the heat quite well but it also keeps any kind of dirt out of your drinks, any kind of cat fur if your cats like to get up on your computer desk while you're trying to edit and trying to drink your hot tea which is always an issue for me it keeps bugs out of your drink so it's a nice way to just keep your glass nice and safe and contaminant free while you're able to drink it uh, i am a slow drinker when it comes to like 
anything. So I really like having a silicone cover, which is kind of like, you know, sticking your coaster on your beer at a bar, uh, just to, you know, keep it safe and free of any kind of issues. Just a cool little useful thing that I liked. These next items I was very excited about, and you might recognize the packaging for these. This is from the Sailor Moon and Ice Watch collaboration. They did a collaboration of all five of the Inner Sailor Senshi. I decided to get the Jupiter and Sailor Moon ones because I really like the colors on these two. Uh, they're watches and they are very stylish looking watches, at least from the picture. So I am very excited to take these out of the packaging and actually wear them. I think both of them are going to look really cool, really fancy. But first, I wanted to show you what the boxes look like. So on the back, it says Ice Watch. On the front, it has a silhouette of Sailor Moon. Uh, the same thing with the Sailor Jupiter one, Ice Watch on the back, Sailor Jupiter on the front. At the top, we have a little window that shows you what the inside packaging looks like. And then on the bottom, you do have a barcode that features each of the Sailor Senshi's barcodes, and there is a toy animation sticker on the side of these boxes. Each of these came with one of these, and I'm not sure what's in here, but it says Ice Watch on the front with the 25th anniversary logo on there. On the back, it says Change You Can like Yoda. <laughs> and then it says icewatch.com at the bottom, which is their website. Oh, oh, that's cool. Okay, it's a microfiber towel. That's nice. It's got the same art as Sailor Moon on the front of the box, but it says ice watch down at the bottom. It's a cute little microfiber towel. I'm guessing to keep your ice watch clean. I like this packaging, so I think I'm going to keep it in the packaging for now, uh, which makes me think that this one must be of Sailor Jupiter. It's not. It's actually Sailor Moon again. So that makes me wonder if you get Sailor Moon on all of the microfiber towels or if they are randomly selected. I'm not sure. I will have to find out. But if they are random, if anybody wants to trade for a Sailor Moon one, I have two. So now opening the box. Okay, so we have a little piece of paper which shows an authenticity paper. Ooh, that is cute. And then we actually have the watch. So the Sailor Moon watch comes in this nice durable plastic pink packaging. This one features a watch face that has a crescent moon at the top and it has gold hands and it has yellow and pink glitter which kind of has an ombre effect in the middle. Very very pretty. The Sailor Jupiter one comes in green plastic packaging and this one has pink and green ombre glitter on the watch face. And instead of a crescent moon, we of course have the Jupiter 4, the, the Jupiter symbol. I'm not really sure how to open this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you have to like slide it down. It has a couple of clips on the bottom and then you just slide it off like that. And to get the watch out, you just slide it out of the packaging like so. The watch has what feels like a silicone or rubberized texture for the band. And then the front of it is this really, really pretty glitter, which I'm sure is going to look amazing in the sunlight. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, which actually I prefer because I like dainty jewelry like this. So I think that'll look really good. And I also like that it looks kind of sporty. So I feel like I could wear this with like any kind of casual outfit and not feel like I'm trying to dress up too much with just a watch. So I think that this would be very fashionable with pretty much anything that you could wear. So I will show you some close-ups of both of those watches. I am curious if you like any of them, if you have a color preference, if you would have purchased one of these or purchased one of the other ones. Uh, I think they're really pretty. I kind of want all three of the other ones, but I'm pretty sure they'd likely be sold out at this point. Uh, they were pretty limited edition. It was kind of hard to find them when they first came out, uh, but I'm pretty excited that I was able to get at least two. What are these? Oh, I know what these are. Okay, so Sailor Moon manga. There's this gorgeous art print that's like super popular, and it features each of the Sailor Senshi as princesses, as like beautiful, dressed up, fancy princesses. And each of them has a different uh, dress, which is very, very, you know, tr true to their personality. So I really wanted to collect all 10 of these Sailor Senshi princess keychains that are exclusive to the Sailor Moon store. These are pretty similar to the other acrylic keychains that have come from the Sailor Moon store. All of them are shaped the same. They're pretty inexpensive as well. I don't remember the price, but I'll put it down below if I can find 
find it. And they are quite easy to find if you go to the Sailor Moon store. They tend to stay in stock pretty often. So each of these is very, very cute. I will show you the actual piece of art that these came from so you can get an idea of what they're supposed to look like. And then I will line them up and show you what it looks like in comparison. Uh, so you can tell that they definitely are the exact same piece of art. And we do have each of the Sailor Senshi. And the back of each of them features some pretty glitter and also the color of that Sailor Senshi as well as their planetary symbol. Cute, cute, cute. Love them all. They're so pretty. All right, so I am starting to get into some of the larger items from this haul. Uh, the first of which is this very cute little card case which features Neo Queen Serenity's tiara design on the front of it. It's kind of gold slash silver. Actually, I think this would be very pretty for like New Year's Eve parties or New Year's parties because uh, it's got that nice sheen to it, so it's very, very pretty. The gold icon on the front from Neo Queen Serenity's tiara looks really good. There's no gemstones on it or anything, so it's not like as expensive and fancy as Samantha Thavasa type of items, but this is definitely a very cute item to have. The inside features the silver millennium crystal as well as crescent moons on a nice grayish bluish type of background. It's called the letter form card case. I believe this is still in stock at the Sailor Moon store as well. I also got a second one which looks almost exactly the same but this one is called the letter form wallet. So this one has a front area which you could put like coins in or business cards or anything like that. The back of this features an area for bills as well as your ID card and your credit cards. So any of those kind of things could go back here. So this is cute and I really like this because it also has this little wrist strap. So you can actually wear this and take it with you without having to carry around your entire purse. So I think this would be really good for like if you're going out to a bar or something like that and you just wanna carry this around as well as your cell phone, uh, this would be a nice little thing to have. It also has a cute little crescent moon on the wrist strap as well. I am so excited about these next items. So this is another collaboration item. These are called the Sweet Brunch series of items from the Sailor Moon store. These are exclusives too. Uh, these all are purses or bags or coin purses or pouches that look like sweet brunch items that you could order at like a brunch cafe. So first we have this really cute little muffin or a cupcake that has icing made out of fluff and it has cute little plastic stars as sprinkles. Uh, this is a cute little pouch. The interior is just a simple pink satin fabric and it's quite large so you could probably put anything you want in here. The front of this features Luna and it says Luna right underneath it and it has a crescent moon on the zipper. So that's the first one. Then there is this one which is also freaking cute. It is so adorable. So the front of it features Sailor Moon milk strawberry flavor and it is shaped like a milk carton. Same design and everything. The back of it says Sailor Moon milk strawberry flavor. It has a strawberry at the bottom and it says natural. And the front of it has Luna and she's holding on to a strawberry which is so cute. So on the side it says how to open and it shows you how you would normally open a milk carton although that is not how you will open this bag. And then underneath that it says, in the name of the moon, I will punish you. Now this is my favorite side because I thought it was so freaking cute. 100% pure and delicious nutrition facts. So on this side it says serving size one cup, 240 milliliters. And then amount per serving, love, justice, clumsy, crybaby, darkness, and pretty. And it has it divided up for each of those. So love and justice are at 100%. And then we have Clumsy 80%, Crybaby 52%, Pretty 100%, Darkness 0%. How freaking cute is that? And then it says open up at the top and there's a little bunny rabbit. There's hearts where you will open it. And on the inside there's this pretty muted pink satin color. Again, plenty of room to put things in your pouch. It does not have a holder or anything like that, so this is just a pouch that you would like put inside a bag. But oh my gosh, to die for, like this thing is just so dang cute, so adorable. I absolutely adore it. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, I can't wait to put things in it. So these are the last two items in the Sweet Brunch series. 
are so cute. So I will start with the purple one. Got crescent moons on the zipper. Got a plastic straw up at the top. <laughs> because why not? And it says premium tea on the front. It's got Luna, it says Sailor Moon on there. There's no nutritional facts on this one, but it does on the back say the pretty guardian in a sailor suit, guardian of love and justice, Sailor Moon. And you do get a shoulder strap, so you can carry this one as a purse. And I highly recommend that you do so. This one's got a bit more of a durable zipper. The inside of it is pretty plain. It just features a lavender lining as opposed to pink or muted pink. And lastly, we have the pink premium juice cup that you can also use with a shoulder strap, which is nice. Uh, this one has hearts instead of crescent moons on the zipper. We've got a pink straw on this one that's a little bent, but that's okay because, you know, why not? <laughs> the front of this one says Sailor Moon Premium Juice, and the back of it says, in the name of the moon, I will punish you. This one has that same muted pink lining as the little pouch that I showed you. Oh my gosh, like so adorable. I love that line, so freaking cute. I hope they do another series of sweet brunch items because I will totally buy all of them. There's just a few more items in my Sailor Moon store haul for the month of October slash November. So this is a second anniversary clear file, which features some classic uh, drawing of anime Sailor Moon. It says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon in gold on the front next to a uh, crescent moon. And it says in the name of the moon, I will punish you all in English with some pretty filigree on the edges. The back of it has Luna. It says Sailor Moon Store at the bottom showing you that it is a Sailor Moon Store exclusive. And it says Sailor Moon Store second anniversary. There's also a Toei animation sticker on the back of this too, on the packaging to ensure that it is a licensed item. This is the second line of mini clear files that you could get from the Sailor Moon Store. And these also come in the blind packaging out of a, a like a gachapon machine. I believe these are like 300 yen each or something like that. Like that or 500 yen each I don't remember but they're pretty inexpensive uh, last time my friend Russell went to Japan he ended up getting me a few of these so I wanted to get the second series as well I opted to just get three of them because I wasn't really sure which ones I wanted uh, definitely wanted Usagi I don't know what I got in this pack so I'm gonna go ahead and open those and let you see so the first one is we got Mercury and Sailor Jupiter so you can see this beautiful art on here and in the folder that it came in, this blind envelope, you also receive a lineup graph of which ones you could receive. So the ones that I really wanted to get were Eternal Sailor Moon, uh, The Princesses, and that was about it. I didn't really care about any of the other ones, so hopefully I got one of those too. Uh, so got Mercury and Jupiter first, which also they're really pretty, so I will likely keep those. And then I also got, ooh, that's pretty. Pluto and Saturn. And lastly, I got the cats. Okay, so I didn't get either of the two that I wanted, <laughs> but I did get some really cute ones though. Um, some of my favorites. So I do like the cats too, actually. Uh, kind of like all three of these. They're really adorable. I might trade these for the other two, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not huge on mini clear files. I think that these would be awesome if they were full-size clear files, because you know, you know, girl likes to collect her full-size clear files. But these are cute anyways. So these are called the mesh series and they are literally bags that are made out of mesh material. So you can see through them. They have a really cute gingham plaid pattern on them, which I thought was really cute. Uh, first we have this one of Sailor Chibi Moon or Chibiusa and it says kawaii, which is very cute. And we also have this one of Sailor Moon, Usagi looking adorable. Of course she has food in hand and she has a couple of hearts as eyes, which she must be staring at Mamoru. I don't remember that screenshot, but these are both just cute little screens from the show, from the anime. I thought they were adorable. Also nice big bags. And you got these hearts for the zippers too. So there's also these two larger bags. These are more like tote bags. First we have the Sailor Moon one and this features Sailor Moon on here. It's a nice little pouch too, so you can stick things behind the screenshot. And this one is again see-through. 
And there's also this one that features Chibi Moon, and she's doing her attack at an enemy. I like that they kind of played with some cute screenshots for the front of these bags. I thought that was really cute, and it brings a lot of personality to what you're seeing in front of you. The bags themselves, other than the art on the front of these, is nothing really special. The patterns are very pretty. The patterns are definitely based on the screenshots as far as the colors go, so I thought that was cool that they brought like the colors of here out into the patterns that you see on the mesh. I thought that was nice. Uh, probably too late in the season to carry these around. I think they're more of summer or spring colors, so I will likely be using these, actually using them, in the springtime. Okay, that is everything from my Sailor Moon store haul. Let me know if you are curious about getting more details about any of these items. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you might have down in the show notes down below in the comments. And of course, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm at Sailor Snubs. That's where I always post like afterthoughts or additional deep reviews about any of these items. I also do sales of some of my previous purchase Sailor Moon items that I don't want anymore and I share really cool pictures of these items up close too. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Sailor Snubs. I will see you in the next video. Jenny. Mm -hmm.